Well, what are we fixing today? Today, with all the hype around human malware, if you know what I mean. I don't want to say the word because some words are just trigger words to some people or places. But I thought people would want to know how to set up their system so that they can monitor human malware as, as measured by Johns Hopkins. There is a Home Assistant um, integration that was added in 106, and I thought I would show you how to do it. So let's go. Here's my Home Assistant page. I want to add an integration. So let's, I think I got this page open here. Let's go to integrations. Let's go to add. And here's the one with the C word, the human malware C word. There we go. Pick a country. Uh... Okay, you know what? First letter and then go. So I'm going to pick that as one of the countries. I'm going to do two countries. So there's one of the countries and I'm going to add another one. Uh, search for you. Oh, wait. Search for C find the C word and then search for you and look for us. There we go. There's another country. Oops. Oh yeah, there it is. There we go. I have the two countries added. If you look at these, what they do is they add sensors. And the sensors are data pulls to come from um, John Hopkins University data, which is on an API. So, let's go back. Uh, that's all I gotta do there. Pretty sure. Now let's go into Home Assistant. Let's add a... Let's add... Okay, so let's see. We'll go over here to the... Shish Kebab menu is what I heard this is called. The one that's like this is like the hamburger menu over here in this corner. But the one over here, we're going to call the shish kebab menu, configure UI. And I'm going to add something up here. We're going to call this human malware icon. And I know what this one is because I looked it up. MDI colon that word just in case they're searching for that. There you go. Um, don't want it in panel mode. Alright, so oh, let's pick a theme. That'll be fine. Let's make a red theme. Here, dark red. There we go. Save. Here we've got the cute little bugs. Let's go over there. And now we're going to add, uh, this one, we're just going to add energy sensors. You can add other things if you want. Uh, I'm just using Home Assistant though today. And the best thing that fits, I think, is an energy sensor. So this one, US. Leave it on the back end of what that page is. That's fine. Do not show header toggle, which I'm not turning things on and off, so there's no reason to have a header title. Entity. Um, the C word. Yeah, okay. So, confirmed. It's hard to see this in here. Confirmed. Current, that one.
covered. And then this one. That one. All right. Let's save it. Let's add another block of entities. Oh, you know what? I'll change the title on that one. <laughs> Make this one this. There. Do not show header toggle. So this one's US. Did. That one I'll change to Canada. Um, let's go down. I start with confirmed. I'm just going to take this so I can see them all. Close enough. Paste it in here. Current. Paste it in there. Covered. Paste it in there one more time, and the one, the bad one. All right. Save. Now let's edit this one because I think they had the wrong name. Canada. Save. Done. Now we have, well, let's go X. Done, that's it. So all you gotta do, that's pretty simple. Now this will apparently update whenever there are updates. Um, should be cool. Hope this helped you. Um, if it helped you, you can always use a like. Subscribers are welcome. I have a bunch of other videos and a bunch of other things that I fix, plus some home assistant stuff. So, enjoy. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye.